Now let's go through some basic maintenance and cleaning. Clean electrodes with a moist cloth, then move on to proper disinfection procedures. Avoid exposing the electrode cable to any product based on isopropanol, propyl alcohol, or alcohol, as prolonged exposure to these products may damage the electrode cable. Please refer to the manual for complete instructions on cleaning and maintenance. For longer storage, put several drops of contact liquid in the protective cap before placing the cap on the electrode. During use, electrodes build up a layer of silver oxide that must be removed. This is easily done during remembraning, which should be carried out on a weekly basis. It's advisable to change the membrane after contact with infectious disease. First, remove the old O-rings using the O-ring removal tool. Next, take a piece of tape, touch the corner of the tape to the membrane surface and lift the membrane right off. Clean the electrode surface using the special cleaning paper in the membraning kit. Polish the surface thoroughly with the paper to remove tarnish. Fold another piece of cleaning paper and clean inside the groove around the electrode head. Add two large drops of electrolyte solution from the bottle to the surface. Move the tip of the bottle into the solution to get rid of air bubbles. Place the membrane unit on a flat surface. Turn the electrode and place it into the top of the membrane unit. Press the electrode firmly until you feel it snap into place. Remove the electrode and wipe off any surplus electrolyte with a soft tissue. Inspect the electrode to make sure that there are no air bubbles. Place the electrode in the electrode holder. Remember that the electrodes need to be calibrated twice after remembraning. For additional information on the clinical uses of transcutaneous oximetry, please view the video by Caroline Fife on the Paramed homepage.